Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I've had the most picturesque fall weekend probably ever. Saturday morning I started out at 8 o'clock at my boys' soccer games. They both had games at the same time. Um, we went right from there to a barn sale. So I'm going to share a barn sale haul with you today. I didn't get a ton, but I got a few pieces for fall that I thought I would share with you guys. We went straight from there to a farmer's market and then kind of relaxed during the day. We watched Harry Potter and then we went to an art fair in the evening. It was nice and cool out. There was like a swing band playing. It was just the best Saturday. I love these end of summer days where we're transitioning into fall and the temperatures change. It was so it was just a great day. So I wanted to share with you guys everything I got at this barn sale. I have wanted to go to this sale a couple times during the year. Um, when they've had it previously, but I had a baby in April and I'm gonna try to show him to you at the end of the video because I know you guys haven't seen him in a while. Um, but the barn sale was in a, just the most beautiful property. The, the owners of the property harvest daylilies and so their spring sale, they also have daylilies for sale. It's just a magical property, I'm telling you. They have like a beautiful pond, this nice big red barn that the sale was in and then this old greenhouse like made out of antique windows. It was so pretty. So let me just show you the very few things I got there to sell in my antique booth, Green Onion Vintage. I'm hoping to sell these things for a profit and I definitely bought some things that have some room for me to charge more so that I can make some money on them and also add some like spooky elements in for Halloween coming up. So first was this pretty awesome owl. He's all beat up. My husband said, why are you getting that? You can get a brand new one at the store right now and he's, you know, I talk about him a lot on this channel because he just does not understand, right? He said, it's missing an eye. You're gonna buy it when it's missing an eye? Yes, he's the best. He's super spooky. I liked him for Halloween. He was $12 and I'm thinking I could probably charge closer to 24, try to double my money for him. So I thought he was awesome. I don't know, if, did you guys get a good view? So here's a 360 for you. I really, really like owls even when it's not Halloween time. I have a nephew that's like deathly terrified of owls. So this would be pretty hilarious actually to give him for Christmas. Uh, I'll probably sell it, but uh, Jacob, I'm thinking of you, just so you know. <laughs> I also got, I'll give you this one first. This kind of vintage inspired pumpkin. I know this one's probably not truly old. I mean, the paint's in way too good of shape. Um, but I just like that it kind of had the vintage looks of those older pumpkins that are very expensive and hard to find. Um, he just had some good character. I don't know what this is. Um, it almost feels like paper mache. There's something inside of him, but I only paid five bucks for him. So I think he'll add like a perfect level of Halloween for my booth. I don't do a ton for Halloween specifically. I more just do uh, fall decor. So I like to have a few things like this that I can put in specific for the Halloween season. And we're looking at the end of September right now. So I'm gonna put these things in right away for Halloween coming up. I thought the scale was so perfect for the end of September going into Halloween time. It's black. I like the patina on it so much. It says American Cutlery. Let's see, oh, let's look here. Patented October 29th, 1912 and 1913. So I like this one a lot. I think I still have one scale left in the, in the booth, but it's quite a bit bigger. So I think this one will be a quick seller for me. I only paid $12 for this one. So I think I can easily ask closer to 30, even $35. I really love like the black and white dial on this. So of course here I am like wondering if I should just keep this again, but I want to keep every scale I buy and that would probably be a problem eventually. But I have actually seen in some uh, like house tours on YouTube where people collect these and the collection looks really, really cool. So I don't know, I feel like if I was in my forever house, maybe I would start collecting things that are more substantial like this, something that takes up a lot of space, but our house right now is so tight. I don't know where I would put a bunch of these, but I do really, really like this one. I also grabbed another rolling pin. I don't typically pass up a rolling pin under $5, so this one was only three. I already had the nice green handles nice and worn so I'll either upcycle this or just sell it as is I'm kind of wondering if I should just keep this one because it looks like it's in really good shape I have a rolling pin that I bought new and it's nothing as durable as like the ones that I find that are antique they have been used for years and they could probably last like a hundred more years whereas the newer ones are just not built the same you know so I am kind of keeping my eye out for one that I want to keep for myself 
Um, so I'm not sure what this one will be, but most likely I will upcycle this and sell it in my booth. Okay, and then I grabbed two of these cornbread pans. They're cast iron, and they were $5 each. And I know that I can sell these closer to $25 each. I haven't actually sold one myself, but I see them going for $25 and on up. So that's probably where I will go. Since I got them for such a good deal, I'll probably offer them for $25. I just think these are really, really cool. So two of those, that was a good find. And then I also grabbed this crate. I don't know that this is truly old. I actually think it is though. It doesn't feel like a Hobby Lobby tray or something. It has really good color. I just thought for my fall displays that this would be perfect. And I only paid $5 for this. I couldn't believe it. Trays actually get pretty expensive depending on where you buy them from. So this was a really fun find for me. Like I said, if it doesn't even sell quickly, that's okay because it's gonna make such a pretty display and add really good color, especially for fall. And that's everything that I got at the barn sale and then just wanted to throw this in at a yard sale. I'm starting to pick up Christmas already. I mean, I really look for Christmas all year round. So I just got this uh, little throw blanket. It might actually be a tablecloth. I'm gonna try to find the tag. Um, it's not vintage or anything, but it, I do like to have linens available in the booth. Around the holiday season, I do really well with any kind of linen, be that table runners, placemats, tablecloths, um, even pillows. We've done a lot of blankets. And then you guys have seen that I've sold a lot of quilts recently. Um, that hasn't slowed down at all. So this, yeah, this looks like it's a round tablecloth. And this will be perfect just to add some color and texture to my booth closer to Christmas. We will transition to Christmas probably right after Halloween. Uh, definitely right after Halloween, actually. So kind of that first weekend of November, switch right over to Christmas time and then keep in some Thanksgiving elements as well. Um, but I love to have linens like this and I actually have a tablecloth like this that I bought years ago and I cut a hole in the center and I use it as my tree base cover. I'm sure a tree skirt So for my Christmas tree. So if you have one of these and you're wondering what to do with it, that actually worked out really well. It was such an affordable way to get a really pretty Christmas tree skirt. So there you go, little tip for you. That's gonna be it for this haul. I'm gonna grab my baby and then I'll say goodbye. So here's Miles. I haven't shown him on camera for a while, so I thought I would give you guys a little peek. He's doing very well, if you can't tell. He's a nice, big, healthy boy. He's super sweet. And he's five months now, if you can believe it. I can't believe it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're enjoying your early fall days as much as I am. I appreciate you watching today and I will see you next time. Bye.